And the painting staff in the Philippines, you would assume it's foreigners, but it's actually not. It's mainly local exploitation. But also the system creates these issues. Employment law is pretty strong in the Philippines to protect employees. But it's so strong to the point that many companies do not want to employ full-time employees. Um, things like the 13th month and a lot of the other stuff that I'm not going to go into, you can go and research yourself, it means that many companies have this churn every three months where they get rid of all their staff. You'll find big uh, department stores like the Gasano department stores will have this turnover. You'll see it in Jollibee and other places, they will churn it over. And I know Scott Ingram was talking about this and you can see that video here. I'll put a little link in there for you so you can see what he's talking about relating to Jollibee. But what you have is this churn of people every three months because it stops them having a long-term contract. So they re-employ everybody. The annoying thing is a lot of the time people haven't to buy their own uniforms and things. So they weren't getting paid well in the first place. But also a lot of the costs that we, we get in the UK, for example... If I was working for a company, they'd have to provide me with work shoes. They'd have to provide me with a uniform. I shouldn't pay for it, although some contracts will actually say that if you leave within X amount of months, I would have to repay it or whatever. Um, but the reality is the obligation is on the company to provide me what they want me to wear and use in their environment. In the Philippines, they push that on you. Um, so these things are a big problem for a lot of people. This is why there could be more done in the economy um, to help people stay in jobs longer by looking at the laws and rules around employment. And I'm hoping these things will change because it's to the benefit of everybody. The companies will benefit by having staff that are committed to the job, having a lot of experience and knowledge about the products and understanding the business instead of retraining everybody every three months, which is never any good for any business. It doesn't matter what the business is, that, that turnover is not healthy. Anyway, thanks for listening.